Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here with you. We are going to do chicken and dumplings all on the griddle top. All right, so let's jump into it. I have I have the sauce for the dumplings set. I have chicken over here. We're actually putting mushrooms and asparagus. So it's gonna be a nice hearty meal and we're gonna do it all out here on the griddle top. Good golly, Miss Molly, I feel the heat coming from South Florida. So let's get this party started. I'm gonna do it in an aluminum pan and I'm actually going to create the bouillon, uh, the chicken stock, for the dumplings by setting this right on the griddle top. We're going to do three cups of water and we're actually going to put in some uh, spices, some poultry seasoning. Uh, we like the poultry magic just to help flavor the chicken and the water. So again, right now we're cooking the chicken. We're going to cook that down like halfway because the chicken, the, the chicken is going to cook the rest of the way with, uh, with the dumplings. And I'm actually going to also include some dill in with the water. and we're gonna we're gonna add the chicken in there now if i wanted to if i really wanted to be slick which uh i can i have my whole griddle top open i'm gonna put a little bit of butter here i'm gonna let that get hot it won't take long at all now listen to this noise So I have two big breasts on here and two chicken thighs. So this water is getting hot over here. And in fact, you know how I always say cook on low, low is the way to go. Well, I want to get this water boiling. So I'm actually turning the burners up to high over here. And I'm just going to brown the chicken a little bit here. And actually, I'm going to take a knife. Some of you asked, can you, can you cut on the griddle top? Absolutely. Whew, it's hot. So what I'm going to do to help even make this go faster, I have my hand, handy dandy handle it on with my pan. I'm going to cover it so I'm capturing that heat. I'm capturing that heat that's coming up and it's creating that convection oven so I'm hitting it from the bottom and the top. And I have this, I just have this on low. I'm not in a hurry to over, overcook the chicken at all. In fact, I'm going to throw it in with the, with the water here very shortly. While I'm doing that, I'm going to cook the mushrooms.
and some asparagus. Now, again, the asparagus, I just want to brown it. I just want to put a little sear on the asparagus and then I'm going to put it back over because we're going to put it in with the chicken and dumplings. All right, the chicken should be good. Wow, I smell that dill coming off the water. Mrs. Griddlemaster is a fan of dill. She loves those dill potato chips also. Okay, so it's been probably about five minutes, maybe maybe four and a half, five minutes with the water in and I seared that chicken for a couple minutes and then I threw it in here and let's see. Boom. So now I could come down off of high because it's doing its job and see how having the top on here helps rapidly get that water boiling so imagine if i wanted to do rice again i could i don't have to use a pot i could use one of these we could do a roast compoyo we could do all kinds of things just by setting it on the griddle top that's what makes this awesome i'm going to roll this asparagus a little and again we don't want to overcook it i just wanted to put a little brown on it and actually, you know what, I'm going to take it off because they're not real fat. So I don't want these overcooked. Mrs. Griddle Master said the asparagus looks green and pretty. Pretty. I'm cooking pretty food for you today. So we're going to call this pretty um, chicken and dumplings. All right, so we have the, the chicken and... We're going to take that out. I'm going to set that off to the side. I am going to... get a couple of rags because I'm going to dump this into a Pyrex bowl so because it's hot and I don't want to do this on a cheap glass bowl Okay, all right, now we're going to start making the, um, the sauce for the chicken and dumplings. We're going to put in, is this the sauce? Yeah, that's the dumplings. So we're going to put in four tablespoons, four tablespoons of butter. Just want to make sure I get the order right. And I'm going to put in some flour, which I think it was two tablespoons. We're going to let this butter melt fully because we're going to make a roux. I should have a pot. Whoa. Now we're adding in two cups of, whoa, two cups of milk. We want to mix that all up. I 
They say to whisk it. You can, you can whisk it. I may try. I have this crazy whisk. You just push down. Or I can whisk. And look, I could be messy out here. It just goes over the griddle top. Okay, so we want this to boil. So we're gonna use our, our, our cover and I'll go ahead and turn the heat up a little and I'm gonna get these mushrooms off. All right, so while this is finishing to boil, I'm gonna whisk, I'm gonna make up the dumplings. I'm gonna do, uh, looks like three quarters cup of milk. Just put it all. Two thirds? Okay, so I put two thirds cup of milk. I am doing some oil which looks like about two tablespoons. So that's it for my, for my, my uh, wet ingredients. Now, marjoram, I'm putting marjoram in. It looks like it's um, a, a teaspoon and a quarter of marjoram, a teaspoon of dill, I'm sorry, tablespoon of dill. This is, um, um, baking powder, huh? Double acting baking powder, and some more of my poultry magic. I'm just going to use a little spoon and mix this around. I think I'm going to take this off. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and dump in two cups of chicken bouillon. Dropping in the asparagus. And the mushrooms. Mix that all around. Get our chicken all in the pool. And finish up. So remember, I have my milk and the oil. And the flour and all the wet ingredients. All the dry ingredients in here. Stir that around. It's going to get real sticky and... A little wet, kind of like a real dried pancake. All right. And now we're just going to do little droplets. I see Kara's here with me.
camera. Oh, you don't see her. The camera's up too high. Huh? Okay, so I have them all, all in the swimming pool. And you see it's boiling. I turned all the burners off except for one. If you have a dome, this is where you would close it. But I don't, so I made my own. And we're just going to let it sit here for about, probably about five to seven minutes. We're going to take the lid off. And then we're going to just flip the dump, dumplings one time, just flip them over and let it go another five minutes and we're, we'll be done. If that, maybe it's just five and five. All right, it's been about five minutes. Oh, look how nice they puffed up. I'm going to go ahead and just flip them. This looks amazing. E E A U T full. So we're gonna go ahead. Here's our asparagus, mushrooms, chicken, dumplings in a gravy. So I hope you've enjoyed this. We're going to take this inside. We're going to plate it up. Take some pictures for you. I've already tasted the sauce a little bit. It's fantastic. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. All the wonderful things you could do on a Griddle Master griddle top. If you like the video, please like us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. And don't forget to click on, what is it, cameraman? The bell. The bell in, in YouTube. Once you subscribe to us on YouTube, go ahead and click the bell. And that way you'll be notified when we get additional videos out. It'll let you know. We try to get them out once every week to two weeks. And we try to cook different things. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Oh, I just hit the mic. Thank you for watching and look for more videos to come. So stay tuned for beautiful images of chicken and dumplings.